Alright guys, how's it going? I'm doing my usual and having a look at the Facebook groups and Teddy's got a question here and it's essentially asking how do I make a preview of my animation? Now, if you're a Houdini user, you'll probably use something like Flipbook or in Teddy's case, if it's Lightwave, you would use Make Preview. Now, Blender pretty much has the same functionality. So what I'm going to do is I'll quickly jump into Blender. So I have this lovely character here, and if we hit play, you can see that my frame rate is actually 30 frames per second, which is pretty damn good to be fair. But if I jump into the render view, you will see that my FPS actually drops down to about 20, 24. So there's a bit of variation, not 100% perfect, especially if you're using things like motion blur. Now obviously, the more complex your scene becomes, the slower things actually become. So one way you kind of circumvent this is to make a preview of the animation. So if we come up to view, you'll see here, viewport render animation. And pretty much like it says on the tin, you will render the viewport. Same with viewport render image. Now this is pretty handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the shading method. And just for some fun, I'll change the mat cap. Clients can be fussy and they like to make changes, so making a preview certainly speeds up your workflow. Now, if you would like to render the inside the camera view, just jump into the camera view and go to view, viewport render animation. But I want to get a little bit closer to the character. Something like this. Now, the next thing to do is actually set up your render output settings. So if you come to this little printer box here, in your output, now what I'll do is I'll change the output directory to somewhere that I can find the file. So let me just quickly change this and let me just throw it right in here. Now the next thing you want to do is change the file format. Now I don't want to necessarily render out 250 frames of PNG. It means I then need to go into video editing software and stitch it all together. But I'm lazy. So we can change the file format and I recommend MPEG video. It seems to be the best and it seems to be the encoding. If you do like an AVI, the file sizes are huge. So you can drop down the encoding here. And you can actually see the video codec. So it's H.264. Ideal. And the container, you can change this to a quick time, an AVI, Flash. Does anybody actually use Flash anymore? But anyway, MPEG. But I'll just leave it on the default, which is MKV, which is fine for our purposes. There's no audio. You can actually embed metadata into this and you can do a bit of post-processing, but we'll leave that for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to View, View Render Animation, and I'll let this play through. Now, so you don't need to watch 250 frames making a preview render, I'll just cut right to the end. So it's finished, ta-da! Now, while we're here, I'll show you a little trick. You can see this arrow here. If you press the N key or expand the arrow, you can actually get a couple of options here. So scopes is pretty good, especially if you're doing compass at work. And that actually gives you a waveform. You've also got some toolbox here, and you can do annotations. So maybe you're doing animation, you want to move this guy's head, something like that. But either way, if we jump into temp file, you can see here that the file's been saved. We'll hit play. And that's pretty much viewport render animation. Do me a favour guys, if you haven't liked and subscribed to the videos, please do. Helps the channel out. If not, peace.